Hello, Claudia. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good, good. <laughs> Congratulations for Teacher Day. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, aquí. No hay mejor forma que celebrar que, que hacer lo que a uno le gusta, aunque sea desde casa. <laughs> it's not the same, but let's see. No es lo mismo, pero. ¿Cómo están? How are you today? How are you doing? Good? Good teacher. Good. Okay, perfect. Welcome, Vane. Luis, Karen. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So today... How are you? <laughs> very good. Thank you Happy for Happy teach Happy Teacher's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Terminando la celebración con las clases. <laughs> okay. So I think we're going to start. We have enough people. Right, and I would like to start with a small review. Me gustaría comenzar con un review. ¿Trabajaron la plataforma durante estos tres, últimos tres días? ¿Cómo les fue con la plataforma? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, which section did you finish, Claudia? Um, sección 3. Okay, very good. Solo que la última la última parte me hace falta que la voy a terminar mañana. Reading. Okay, good. Sí, es. Okay, mm -hmm. good. What about the others? Vane, Luis, Jorge, Karen, Samuel, Dennis. Did you finish the platform? Section three and four. Eh, posiblemente eh, mañana termine la parte tres. Okay, perfect, perfect. What about you, Jorge? Karen? I finish the half to five section. Okay, perfect. So, mañana me va a ayudar. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. finished uh, the uh, three section and began um, number four. And you began number four. Okay, perfect. También me va a ayudar mañana. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. We're going to start here with a review, right? And last week we were working with uh, prepositions, right? So I would like to, to see right. if you remember the prepositions. Do you remember prepositions? Yes, teacher. Which prepositions do you remember? I remember on. Easy. <laughs> what about you? In. 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 Huh? Under. Under, okay. Another one. Behind. Behind. Between. Between. In front of. Between, in front of. Okay, very good. What else? Across Next from. Next to. Across from. What? Next to. Next to. Okay, one more. Corner. Corner, okay. What else goes to the corner? Corner, me faltan dos palabras. On the corner of. On the, oh, tres no faltan. On the corner of, okay, very good. So we have these prepositions, very good, right? So with these prepositions, remember that each one of them, they have like a meaning, right? Very specific meaning that we need to remember, right? Do you remember these pictures? Do you remember these pictures? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So with these pictures, I want you to remember. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio solo para recordar um, what positions or what locations uh, prepositions have, right? So we have picture A and picture B, right? We have here. Picture A, and we have picture B. So for this, we're going to practice 
just for the prepositions. For example, in picture A, right, there is a there is a laptop, right, on the floor, for example, right? And there is an umbrella on the desk, right? That will be one example. But I have more propositions. I have on, next to, under, behind, in front of, in. Right? The, I can use these propositions to talk about these, these two pictures. So who wants to try? Solo para ver si nos recordamos eh, el, la locación de cada una de las proposiciones. Let's see. Next okay. two. Uh -huh. Who remembers next two? In picture B, mm -hmm. for example, what can I use? Or oh, where is the camera in picture B? The camera. Uh -huh. The camera. Where is the camera? On the chair. Okay. The camera is on the chair. Okay. Very good. The camera is on the chair. Very good. Another example. The lamp is on the chair on the desk the lamp is on the desk okay very good right here in picture a right in picture yes. a uh, okay another okay, person teacher. very good and what about well in picture a we have a lot of things picture b we have hmm, a few things let's see who else alguien más in the picture a yeah whichever but the mm -hmm. The book is on the desk. The book is on the desk in picture A. Okay, very good. The chair or the chair? The chair, the shirt, the shirt chair. is on, the, on chair. the chair. Very good, very good, Samuel. Another person. Where is the shoe in picture A? Under it's, the bed. Okay, it's under the bed. Very good. Or? On the floor. On the floor. Okay, very good. Where is the laptop on, in picture A? On the floor. It's on the floor. It's on, it's the, floor. on the floor. Very good. Where? Listen to this. Where is the umbrella in picture B? It's next to the chair. It's next to the chair. Very good. It's next to the chair. And where is the chair? It's, it's next to the bed. It's next to the bed. Okay, very good. Or you have one thing here and you have another here. So what can you say when it's in the middle? It's, it's between uh -huh. of umbrella and bed. It's between the umbrella and the bed. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good. You remember well the positions of each of the prepositions. Very good. So we have there. <clears throat> We have there the, the locations or how to use each of the prepositions, right? So you had some homework to do, right? You had some homework to do. So we're going to practice here as well. And I need you to take a look at my map, right? Can you see my map on your screen? Yes, it's sure. Yes, okay, very good. So I'm going to ask you a question here for my map. This is my map, right? And take a look at all the places that we have, right? Uh, let's see here. Marielos, can you read the places that you can, that we have from here? Hotel, yes. bank, what, what do we yeah. have? And bank. Uh, gas station, gas shopping station. center, 
-hmm. Shopping center, electronics, post office, Joe's gym, mm -hmm. or, or the department store. And how do you say grocery? Grocery. 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 Parker's drugstore. Mm -hmm. Top shoes. Okay. Hamison Hotel. Jameson Hotel, very good. Jameson Hotel. Frank's Coffee. Café. 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 Okay. Café is the same as cafeteria. It's like... Okay. It's like okay. coffee cup, for example. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Rosa's Restaurant. Uh -huh. And... How do you call uh, this place? Is the... Um, Park. Place. The park. Place. The, the park. Center park. Center park. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it can be a center okay. park or just the park. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Marielos. Right. Then we have different places. I'm going to ask you the basic question, right? And I need one person to answer, right? I have 15 people here. So one person. Where is the post office? Where is the post office? The post mm. office is on Main Street. Very good, Mario. Very good. The post office is on Main Street. Okay, very good. What's another option for that? The post office is on the corner of Fifth Avenue and Main Street. Very good, that's another option. Very good. What's another option? Where is the post office? Post office is next to Joe's gym. Very Joe. good. You see, we have like four different options to say this, right? So let's see another one. Where is the electronic store or electronics? Mm -hmm. Post office. No, electronic store. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's next to post office. It's behind next to the post, post office? It's behind the behind, post office. Behind, yeah. behind the post office. Very good. And what else? It's? In front of shopping center. In front of shopping center. Okay, very good. It's? On First On Avenue. It's on First Avenue, on First Avenue, very good. Tell me where is a hotel? Where is the hotel? I'm lost, so I don't know where to go. This is me walking, so. El puntito it's rojo soy yo. It's on? Pine Street. It's on? it's on Pine Street, okay. The hotel is on Pine Street, okay. Give me more information, people, so I don't get lost. What hotel? Ah, very good, Jorge. Very good. I have how many hotels? Two. 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 I Two. have Kin Plaza Hotel and I have Jamison Hotel. But uh -huh. my question, my question was, where is a hotel, right? Donde esta un hotel? I'm looking for a hotel right now. So uh, here, you direct me to Pine Street, right? Yo no sé porque no conozco, entonces no sé cuántos hoteles hay. You are going to tell me. You are going to direct me. Estoy en Pine Street todavía, no me puedo mover de ahí. Uh -huh. In Plaza Hotel is on Pine Street and in mm -hmm. Maple, Maple Avenue. Oh, okay. Kim Plaza Hotel is on Pine Street and Maple Avenue. Okay, very good. How do we call if we have if we have something like this? How do we say? What's the proposition that we use? It's on the corner of Pine Street and Maple Avenue. Perfect, that's perfect. Very good. 
It's on the corner of Pine Street and Maple Avenue. Very good. Now, Jorge, direct me to the other hotel. Where is Jameson Hotel, Jorge? Jameson I don't hotel. like, yes, because I don't like Kim Plaza. It's awful. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Jameson Hotel is on Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Across from the Mon and Pox groceries. Okay, wonderful. Yes, that's where I want to go. Very good. That's Jameson Hotel. Very good. And now the last one. Where is the bank? Where is the bank? I'm here in the first avenue. It's on First Avenue. Okay, so I will walk. And I will go to First Avenue. Okay, I'm here on First Avenue. Okay, so what do I do now? Give me more information. More, because I'm lost. On Pine Street in front of King Plaza. Uh, in front of King, King Plaza Hotel. Okay, very good. Right, I can go to First Avenue, right? Pero si empieza a caminar, voy a ir hacia allá, right? And I don't know where I'm going. So you need to give me more information. Right? Okay, very good. So now, ya que recordamos, right? Now that we remember this information, I want you to share the homework because you have some homework to do. Right? For this. Do you remember this picture? Did you practice with this picture? Yes teacher. yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. So we were supposed to finish this, right? As homework, right? This information with this picture. So what we're going to do two things, right? First, we are going to practice and we're going to compare. Vamos a ver si comparamos las respuestas. We are going to compare the answers from this with the map, but, but, we are going to also ask this question, right? It says, where are the, these places on the map? The park, the drugstore, the bookstore, the hospital, and the shoe store, right? And we have the question. What is the question that we're going to use? The only question that we're going to use right now is, where is the park, for example? It's between park and first, across from the department store, for example, right? So we're going to use the same map that you have here, right? Sorry. The same map that you have here to ask these questions. But first, you're going to compare your answers. And second, we're going to ask these questions. Is that clear? Is that clear lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes, Mario. Okay, very good. What about the others? Is mm. it clear? <laughs> Not teacher. <laughs> okay, no, don't worry. We are going to first. We're going to share the answers from your homework. Tenían que practicar con el mapa, verdad? Tenían que terminar de responder y estar seguros de practicar las proposiciones. Right. So we're going to work with the map. Right? Everyone has the map because I send it to your WhatsApp messages, right? So everyone has the map. So you're going to work, you're going to compare yes, the teacher. answers and then the map, right? You are going to use this map for this and this, right? But we're going to work in groups, right? So don't worry. We're going to work in groups of three. I okay, think. teacher. Okay, very good. Perfect. We have 14 people. No, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de dos. Right, so let's see. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, I just sent the, the last picture. Yes, La única que no tenían, ya se las envié al WhatsApp. Right, okay, let's start. We're gonna have five okay. minutes. Let's go. Please join your groups. Join. Join your groups. Very good. Very good. Samuel, Johnny. 
Mario. Samuel, please join your group. Una es el grupo. Okay. The coffee shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Is it's uh -huh. in front. the shores shore stores. Okay. And the movie theater. Um, Do you have questions? No, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So I will <laughs> let you go. I will go to another group, okay? okay? Okay, teacher. Bye. See you in a minute. Okay. The movie theater. Bye. Pero, eh, okay, si querés, la vamos haciendo porque yo tampoco las pude hacer. Oh. <laughs> Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? No, teacher, for me, no. No? Are you sure? No, no. Yes. yes okay, yes. good. Samuel, ¿tiene preguntas? Eh, sí, entiendo que vamos a hacer, eh, comparar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Van a comparar las respuestas de las preguntas, correcto. Um, eh, por ejemplo, Sample en the department store is on Main Street. Sí, pero ahorita estamos con la primera parte, donde dice the coffee shop, the movie theater, the gas station. Con eso vamos a empezar. Y luego nos vamos a mover a la última que les acabo de enviar. Ajá. Oh. Con, este, con esta que está en con, la pantalla, empezamos. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y luego vamos con las que le acabo de enviar al WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ok, good. So let's okay. start. Quiero ver cómo van. Okay. Bueno, vamos a iniciar porque no habíamos hecho ninguna las dos. <laughs> Tanto padre. <laughs> ok, so let's see. Okay. Inicie. Vamos a ver. Ok. Um, Samuel. Yes. Uh, where is the movie theater? Um, no. The movie. <clears throat> um, the movie. The movie still there is in front city bank. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. También podría ser the movie theater is on part eh, is T. Behind. Behind. Mm. Is on. Is on oh. part. Is on. Is on part. Is it is T. Park Street. Park. Park. Street. Street. Okay. Very good. Street. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's in from in from bank. In front of. In front of bank. In front of the bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Continue, please. Um, luego gas station. Okay. Do you so have Between between PNG supermarket. Uh, they be drugstore? No. No, porque between es entre. 
Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería behind. Is. Behind. And behind. behind Alice Coffee Shop. Ah, uh, Alice okay. Coffee Shop. Ah, okay. <laughs> no lo había visto. I'm here. Behind. Ok. Ahí, ahí terminamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Sure. Ok. So continue with the acti second activity, please. We're going to finish in two minutes. Perdón, teacher. Le falta la segunda actividad. Les envío el WhatsApp. Una ah, última okay. imagen. It says, where okay. is, where is. And then you tell me, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Um, eh, puede ser en la primera, no sé. Yes. Y primera. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you have questions? Hi, Hi. Uh, eh, Somos sinceros, Tisha. Estábamos hablando acá con el compañero que si nosotros habíamos tenido... Bueno, ahorita sí nos estamos volviendo como queriendo agarrar bien el hilo, pues. Uh -huh. Hemos tenido problemas por la cuestión de que entramos en... Bueno, los dos estamos estudiando, pues. Ok. Entonces, ahí vamos metiéndole ahorita eh, esfuerzo, pues. Okay, Vamos a formar la, la oración y la otra que teníamos, el detalle que no teníamos la, la imagen del mapa. Ajá, el mapa. But I send it to the WhatsApp. I send it to WhatsApp last week. Eh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ah, ya la encontré. No, ya no, yo tengo. El... Ah, ya la encontré. Ajá, yo sí. Dice que está lleno ya. Dice que está lleno. Ya la encontraste, Luis. No, es que tengo, creo que tengo un nuevo WhatsApp, pero se me lo podría compartir acá, no lo podrías. Para que poner, de ahí lo agarremos ya. ¿Y está agregado al grupo usted, Luis? Sí, estoy agregado, Tisher. Lo que pasa es que hace poco me reinicio, reinicié el teléfono. Entonces, Entonces las conversaciones que tenía anterior no las tengo guardadas ya. No pude hacer un respaldo. Boris, ¿puede enviar de nuevo la imagen, por favor? Se le envía a Luis. Sí, okay. me hace favor. Perfecto. I will let you go right now. I will go with another group, ¿ok? Ya, mire, ya okay, le envié okay. ahí. Thank you, Boris. Okay, sí. Bueno. Ya estoy metido en la, en la aplicación, ¿va? en inglés. Ah. Pero anteriormente yo me había querido conectar aquí con a la, al, al link que me habían mandado al WhatsApp, pero me parecía que no podía entrar. Uh, really. Yes. <risa> ¿Es su primera clase? Sí, mi primera clase, fíjese. <gasps> Welcome. Welcome to the class. Hope you like it. Right? Sí. Así. No sé, yo solo he estado viendo las la clases que han dado, bueno, los, los temas que están en la aplicación. Ok, perfecto. So we're working with propositions right now. We're working with propositions and we're trying to give simple directions. Right. Entonces ahorita lo que podríamos hacer, Manuel, es que Jorge le comparta eh, las respuestas que tiene, porque él se estaba en todas las clases, eh, que le comparta y usted vaya viendo y trata de ir eh, relacionando esa información que Jorge le va a dar, porque ya tiene las respuestas casi que correctas. Entonces eh, las compara con lo que va teniendo. Y hoy vamos ¿Sí? practicando y se va tratando de poner al hilo. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Welcome. Ok. okay. So, Jorge, please share the answer. Oh, una, una pregunta más. ¿Tiene acceso al WhatsApp, Manuel? 
al sí. grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces tiene todas las imágenes, perfecto. No, fíjese ¿Eh? que no, solo... Boris acaba de enviar unas al grupo. Ya lo veo. No, fíjese que no estoy en el grupo, porque solo tengo donde me enviaron el link. Uh -huh. es, de, permítame, es de un número que se llama 72631928. No me puedo, no le puedo confirmar el número ahorita. <ríe> Pero ah, eh, acá la tiene Jorge, Jorge le va a indicar ahorita las respuestas. Él ya practicó bastante y ya tiene aquí la información. ¿Okay? Ah, sí, porque sí me gustaría ponerme el día, porque estaba viendo de que en julio termina el. Esta semana terminamos las clases. ¿A esta semana? <laughs> sí. Good. So, please go ahead and share yours. Eh, Jorge, we're going to have two more minutes, ¿ok? Ok. Un minutito más. Compártale ya, Manuel, y lo dejo un rato. Voy con otro grupo. Ok. So, ok, Manuel. No sé si ves mi pantalla. It's on Second Avenue. Uh, behind of supermarket, P en, ¿cómo se dice J? ¿Perdón? ¿Cómo, cómo se dice J? J. 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 P en J, supermarket. PJ, supermarket. PJs. PJs. Um, eh, sure. Just Rodrigo, don't yeah. say, don't say behind of, yo say behind. Right. Behind. Behind. Atra okay. behind significa atrás de. Entonces ya no tiene que poner la preposición of. Solo behind. Okay. Okay, perfect. Continue, please. Uh, la otra sería. Where is uh, the bookstore? Bookstore. Where is the bookstore? Quiero ver dónde está. No la encuentro. No, ni yo. Ay, ah. The bookstore is on the corner of Central Street and Second Avenue. Uh, uh, Okay. It's, it's ah, across okay. from post office. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya, ¿Ya lo ubicaste? Sí, ya, hoy sí. Como no decía The Bookstore, sino que decía otro nombre, no lo no le encontraba. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Do you have questions, people? Eh, sí, una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. Cuando podemos decir next to, uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, U.S. Post Office, it's next to Doctor's Hospital, está bien, por el it's callejón ese to? que está ahí. <laughs> ok, we have, what was the, the, the place that you mentioned? Uh, post Office. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's next to... The hospital. Post office is next to the hospital. Yes, that's correct. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. You can es que say estábamos, also. Uh -huh. Estábamos diciendo que si podíamos utilizar next to cuando hay algo en medio, ¿verdad? como por ejemplo en este caso ese callejón. Mm, no, but it's, it's not a callejón. It's just a place there. You okay. can say next to the hospital. Right? If okay. it's an avenue or a street, yes. Pero esa no está marcada. Esa no está marcada. But you can pero, say... Pero, uh -huh. pero cuando el next to es solo cuando está un edificio pegado al otro. No, no lo podemos ocupar si, si hay una calle de por medio. Si hay una calle de por medio, no. Por ejemplo, si tiene... Ahí está US Post Office y está el bookstore, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Casi uh -huh. es que están a la par. Pero en ese caso, se tiene que uh, utilizar in front of. The U.S. Post Office is in front of Second Avenue Bookstore. Right? Porque está en una calle marcada, que es Second Avenue. En cambio, en ese pedacito, ese callejoncito, mini callejoncito, de hecho, solo es parte de, de, de 
del US Post Office. Chiquitito. No está marcado, no, está, no tiene nomenclatura. Right? So that's why we don't use it. Mm -hmm. Or for example here, if you go to the department store and the city bank, there is a space. Hay un pequeño espacio también ahí entre los dos. But we can say the department store is next to city bank. Aunque hay un espacio chiquitito. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good question. I like that. Very good. Okay, so I think we're gonna finish here and we're gonna go to to share, okay? Okay. Vamos a ver. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. Okay, so we're going to share right now the answers for this. Oh, I cannot believe it's night 40 or where. Okay, everyone, are you here? Hello? Yes, teacher. Hola. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so we're going, to, we just practice right now in groups, right? Just to, to try to give the addresses for this using the map, right? Can you see my... Um, my screen right now. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. Very good. So I need you to give me the answers for this before we move to the next exercise, right? I have number two. The movie theater is, who wants to give me the answer for number two? Let's just start with, let's see, Mario. Number two, what do you have for number two? The movie theater is, uh, is is on the corner of Park and Main. It's in front of the park. Okay, very good. Is that correct, everyone? ¿Está bien eso? Is that correct? Hola. It's in front of Park and Main. It's in Street. front of Park and Main? Hmm. Can you be in front of parking me? Look at the map. Or it's on the corner of. Very good. It's on the corner of. Mm -hmm. On the corner of. Right. Okay. Very good, Mario. Very good. Todos los demás, pongamos atención a las respuestas y si confirmamos si las respuestas están bien o mal. Okay. Remember, remember that we may have different answers. Puede que tengamos diferentes respuestas. Eso no significa que la respuesta que están dando esté incorrecta, sino que es another option, right? It's another option. So let's pay attention. The gas station. Who wants to try with the gas station? Gas station? The gas station is in front. Okay, Bane, speak up. Is in front the parking lot. Is on the corner of Pearson Center. There. Uh, okay, the gas station is in front the parking lot. In front of in front of the parking lot. It's on the corner of Pearson Center. There. It's on the corner of Pearson Center. Is that correct, people? Is that correct, everyone? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, very good. Podría, podría ser también, the gas station is across from the parking lot. Across from, the gas station is across from the parking lot. Yes. Mm, but there, yes, because we have, this is Center Street. Yes, you're right. This is Center Street right here. This one 
sorry. This one right here is Center Street. Look, see, the gas station is across from the parking lot. Very good. We can also say that. Perfect. Okay, so let's see number four, the post office. Another the post one. office is on the corner, center and second. The corner of? Uh -huh. The corner of center and second is next to doctor hospital. Okay, it's next to doctor hospitals. Okay, is that correct? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes teacher. Karen says yes. What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? ¿Está bien la respuesta que dio Claudia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Then number five, the bank. The bank is? Uh, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Main Street. Okay, the bank is between the restaurant and the department it's store. True. It's on Main Street. Okay, let's see. The bank, where is the bank? Is the bank, okay, very good. Very good, Samuel. So there we have the answers for this, right? So we have, the question, what are the questions that we can make here, right? I was listening to Dennis and company, right? So can you tell me the answer for the bookstore? Dennis, where is the bookstore? Dennis? Hello? <laughs> no, no, Dennis? <laughs> You want to sleep? Rodrigo? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. What's the answer for the bookstore? Where is the bookstore? According to the map. The bookstore is on the corner of Central Street and Second Avenue. Okay, perfect. Very good. What about the shoe store? Luis? The shoe store. Where is the shoe store? Look at the shoe store. Yo aquí les muestro las preguntas, pero ustedes te dan el mapa ahí a su mano. Right? So where is the shoe store? It's across from the supermarket is on the second avenue. It's across from the supermarket is on, on the second avenue. On second avenue. Very good, Jorge. It's on second avenue. Very good. So we have this exercise, right? Now I sent this picture and this picture to your WhatsApp, right? Do you have it? Do you have yes. it? Okay, very good. Now that you have it there, we have the question, where is it? Right, that's the question. So look at this. I have here the, let's say, the prepositions that we're going to use. Across, from, behind, between, next to, on. This one is already used, so you have it here. The English school is on Catherine Street, right? Ya no podemos usar esa porque ya la usé yo, right? It's on, on, right? So we're going to delete this, right? Now you're going to take a look at your map, right? And tell me the answers for the other, the other places. I'm going to ask anybody. Yo le voy a preguntar a cualquiera, tienen que estar listos, right? So let's try. We cannot repeat the prepositions, right? We can use them only once. So I have one, two, three, four, five prepositions. One, two, three, four, five sentences. Cinco preposiciones me quedan, cinco oraciones me quedan también. Right? So, are we clear of what we're going to do? 
¿Estamos listos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. So I'm going to start with number two. I want you to answer for me, Carla. The hospital. The hospital, Carla. Okay, wait, wait for this, wait for this. One moment. Carla está ahí. Okay. Okay, no está Carla. Let's see what is. The hospital? Across from the hotel. The hospital is? Across from the hotel. hotel. Okay, let me see my map, okay? The hospital is across from the hotel. Mm -hmm. Is that correct, people? No, the no. hospital is no. behind. The hotel is next to the hotel. It's next to the hotel or behind, behind the hotel. Behind okay. the hotel. It, it's behind the hotel. Okay, very good, very good. So you see, you pay attention, very good. Now let's see here another person. Pongámonos listos todos. Let's see here. Estela. The Mexican restaurant, number three. Okay. Uh -huh. The Mexican restaurant. The, the Mexican restaurant is it on the corner of Fort Avenue. In the corner, it's on the corner. Look at the the, Mexi the Mexican restaurant is on the corner of. Uh, Beatrix, the Beatrix Street and Fourth Avenue. Okay, very good. What? Which one did we use in number two? Next to or behind? I I don't remember. ¿Cuál utilizamos? Which one did we use? Behind or next to? Lo tengo que eliminar. Behind. 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 Okay, behind. Very good. Now tell me number four. Right, number four it says the bank is. And this is the question for uh -huh, Manuel Mejia. The bank is Manuel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Manuel. No tengo el mouse. I cannot listen to him. Okay, no lo escucho, Manuel. Vamos a seguir con alguien más, okay? Uh, let's see here, let's see, Karen, the bank is on? The bank is on Barber Street across, uh, across from, no, ah, so, sorry, ah. sorry, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the bank is on Barber Street um next no. look at the answer six and seven um, avenues but on the corner of is used use yeah. what is the position of this look at the map everyone look at the map the is Oh, mm -hmm. the bank is on Barbara. I no, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> um, Beatrice on Seventh. Avenue. It's on Barbara Street, right? And it says Sixth and Seventh Avenue. Between. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Between. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Between okay. Six and seven avenues. Six and seven avenues. Very good. And the bookstore. Tell me the answer for this. 
Uh, let's see, Samuel. Number five, the bookstore. The bookstore is. Is what, Samuel? The bookstore is, we have two options, across from or next to, which is the option, which is better? Samuel, are you there? Se me fue, okay. Next to. Next, next to. Next, next to. to, very the good. The bookstore next is next to. to the English call. Very good. And the last one, Dennis? The coffee shop. The coffee shop is across from the park. Across from the park. Okay, very good. So this is the way we're going to give a very specific directions, right? Specific directions when someone is telling you where is a specific place. Right. Where is a specific place? You get them a specific directions as well, right? So now, we're going to do the last activity. And with the last activity, right, I'm going to assign you, solo voy a asignar un lugar con base en el mismo mapa, right? Mm -hmm. But you're going to have just one. And you're going to write your answers on WhatsApp messages and here in Zoom on the chat. Right there, you have there uh, one picture, and in the picture says, "Look at the map again. Where is each place?" Right, and it says, "Write two sentences." And we have one example, right? The bookstore. Y vamos a darle dos opciones de cómo y cómo, cómo podemos llegar a ese lugar. ¿Cuál es la dirección para ese lugar? Right. So we're gonna give two options, and you will have just one place assigned. So we're gonna tener un lugar asignado. So do you have the picture? Yes. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Very yes. good. So we're going to work right now, right? In pairs, I think, let's see. Yes. We're going to work in pairs and you're going to have just one place. I'm going to tell you your place right now. So here. Second. Okay. The first group, Marielo Sembane, you will have the supermarket. Okay. Estela, okay Estela and Samuel, you have the department store. Claudia and Carla, okay. you have gas station. Right. Boris and Luis, you have Chinese restaurant. Jorge and Manuel, you have hotel. Mario and Rodrigo, you have post office and drugstore. You will have two, okay? Now, you're going to write the answers on, on the chat here in, was in Zoom, and you're going to write the answers later once we finish on WhatsApp, okay? Para que todos tengamos la respuesta de todo. Are you ready? No, teacher, I don't have any place. <sighs> You don't have any place? No. Yo tampoco. <laughs> ¿Quién no tiene más? Me, Dennis. Dennis, okay. I will, I will, you will have then uh, Mario and Rodrigo, you will have post office. Karen and Dennis, you will have drugstore, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. very good. So let's just start. We will have three minutes to do this. Tres minutos para hacer ese lugar específico. Let's go. Okay. Karen and Dennis, you will stay here, okay? Okay. Y Dennis, que se is Okay, good. <laughs> Assigned to. Yeah. Okay, Dennis and Karen, you will stay here para que quede cabal ustedes dos solitos, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. I will go to another group right now and then you will stay here. 
Remember, yours is post office, right? No, what is it? No, drugstore. Okay, very good. Les dejo solitos, voy a otro grupo. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, the, the supermarket is on Catherine Street across English School. Pero mira, cuando el edificio es así un edificio formal, se puede decir a través de él. Atravesando él. No, no significa a través de, sino no, que en, como, como que decir como que estuviera enfrente de, pero across, como la cruzando. Calle, sí, y se va a cruzar, cabal. Cruzando la calle. este lugar va al otro lugar, correcto. No, oh, ok. Ok, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> ok. Y la, la segunda de supermarket is next to the coffee shop. The supermarket? Is next to, next to next the coffee to shop. Coffee shop? Ok. The coffee shop. Um, oh, the coffee shop. Ok. Mm. Lo escribiste. No. Ah, bueno, espérate, lo voy a escribir entonces. Escríbalo, no, porque lo tienen que poner en el chat y WhatsApp. Ok, teacher, thank you. The supermarket. The supermarket is next to, next to coffee shop. Okay, you have Go. one minute, one minute. Yo, yo okay, the supermarket. Okay. Y... Okay. The farming store is behind. Behind? Look at the spelling of behind. Ay, no me acuerdo. B, oh, there behind. you are. <laughs> behind the uh, bookstore. Uh-huh, and where else? Teacher, uh, is necessary uh, give the in the direction uh, give the uh, street or both maybe... two sentences. Look at the example oh, okay. that I sent you. Uh huh. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you have one minute. Okay. Teacher. Entonces, nos faltaría the. Between, between Mexican restaurant and the department store. Uh -huh. No sé si podemos poner también it behind English school. Sí, ¿verdad? Voy, solo estoy escribiendo para dejarla puesta aquí. What is behind the English school? Dennis. The drugstore. The truck store is behind the English school. Mm -mm. No. No. Okay. It's across from. Across. Mm -hmm. It's across from the English school. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. In the store. Across. Uh, across up across English from school. English school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we're going to stop sharing here, uh, Dennis, because I have everyone here on the on your chat. Everyone is can take a look at your answers, okay? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. please write your responses right now on the chat. Jorge already did. Hotel is on Catherine Street, is between Fifth Avenue and Sixth Avenue. It's across from the park, it's in front of the hospital. Very good. Karen says. Where is the drugstore? Is on the Beatrice Saint Beatrice Street in between Mexican restaurant and the department store across from English school. Very good. Carla says the gas station is behind Mexican restaurant. The gas station is on the corner of Fourth Avenue and Ann Street. Mario on WhatsApp says. The super, uh, no, the post office is on the corner of Catherine Street and 7th Avenue. It's next to the cafe. Vane Peña says the supermarket is on Catherine Street across from the English school. 
The supermarket is next to the coffee shop. Okay, very good. So there we have the answers, right, for each of these. Uh, Dennis, can you stop sharing your screen? Hello? Puede dejar de compartir su pantalla. Sí, no. Okay, sí, yo just do. Okay. okay, good. So now we have different answers. Estela, Carla already put the answers about the department store in the gas station. Very good. Compartan también las, las respuestas de aquí al WhatsApp, right? So how do you feel about giving directions? Ya nos queda un minuto, pero ¿cómo se sienten con eh, ese tema? Giving directions. How do you feel? Un poco complicado? No. Algunas veces. It's just a matter of practicing. Yeah. Solo tenemos que practicar. Okay, that, that's what we need to do. Para eso también les voy a poner un ejemplo, otro ejemplo, aparte de los que ya tenemos. Eh, un video que dice ahí que es para niños, pero ¿por qué lo vamos a utilizar? Porque nos da eh, imágenes, imágenes que nos pueden guiar a nosotros para entender más dónde está cada lugar. Okay, that's why I'm putting that video. I already put it on WhatsApp. If you want to put it here, it's already here too, on the chat, right? For you to take a look at it, right? So you can practice. You will have full conversations and you give directions as well, right? Now, do you have questions about this topic? No, I don't have. No, you don't have questions? No. Okay. Not if you don't have questions tomorrow, we're going to start with section four and section five. ¿Por qué digo section four and section five? Vamos a la sección cuatro y cinco, para los que ya adelantaron con la sección cuatro y cinco. Thank you, Kenan. Uh, we're going to have section four and five with the simple past, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos, tienen ustedes que leer para entender un poco de lo que vamos a ir trabajando y lo, de los ejercicios mmm, gramaticales que vamos a ir haciendo. Digo gramaticales porque también quiero que practiquen speaking. Right, not only writing, I need you to speak, right? So we're going to have section four tomorrow. Y terminamos aquí con la sección tres, giving directions, asking and giving directions, right? And we're going to start with the other one tomorrow. Do you have any questions about that? Algo, alguna pregunta? No? No. Okay, so I need you to, to go ahead and practice, please. Practice, practice, practice a lot on the portal, on the web portal for, your, for this uh, class. So we can practice tomorrow with simple past, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay perfect. teacher. Perfect, so I will let you go now, guys. It's 10.05. Ya les robé dos minutos de su tiempo. Mil disculpas. Espero que pasen buenas noches, okay? Have a Good night. night, teacher. Good, Good night, night, teacher. Bye-bye. Manuel, Manuel, si puede, se queda un momentito, porfa. Let's go inside. Sí, hello. Sorry. Hello. May I help you? Manuel. Hola, lo escucho muy lejos. No sé si tiene lejos su teléfono o lejos su, sus audífonos. Sí, ya. Ahorita me escucha bien. No lo escucho, no, no lo escucho casi. Pero solo recordarle que nosotros eh, vamos a estar con la clase, esta clase, este grupo, hasta el 26 de junio, que sería el jueves de esta semana. Entonces ustedes tienen que ir trabajando en la plataforma que está, bueno, ya, ya se les proporciona la información en el sitio web para que ustedes vayan adelantando con las clases. Y la clase solo la utilizamos para practicar. Eh, entonces, para, si tienen alguna pregunta, la hacen. Si no saben pronunciar algo, pre, eh, practicamos bastante. Por eso es que la clase se fijó que casi solamente era, eran ustedes hablando, ¿verdad? En, entonces, necesito que se ponga al día. Eh, necesito que trabaje bastante, a pesar de que ahí dice que se termina el 11 de julio, el 11 de julio se termina con todo y la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero 
ustedes necesitan también seguir practicando y para eso es la clase. Mañana vamos a trabajar con los Simple Pass, que son la sección 4 y 5. Si usted no ha adelantado la sección 1, 2 y 3, puede darle una miradita a la sección 4 y 5 para ir adelantando, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. Casi no lo escucho, solo escuché que dijo ok allá a lo lejos, pero creo que quedamos bien. Y okay, pasa buenas noches. Buenas noches, Eli. Ok, bye bye, take care. Bye.